In game theory, there are two kinds of games. There are finite games and there are infinite games. And this is how you're going to change your perspective, right? A finite game is defined as known players, fixed rules, and an agreed upon objective. Baseball, for example. We know the rules, we all agree to the rules, and whoever has more runs at the end of nine innings is the winner, and the game is over. No one ever says, if we can just play two more innings, I know we can come back. Doesn't work that way. The game is over, right? That's a finite game. Then you have an infinite game. Infinite games are defined as known and unknown players. The rules are changeable, and the objective is to keep the game in play, to perpetuate the game. When you pit a finite player versus a finite player, the system is stable. Baseball is stable, right? When you pit an, infin an infinite player versus an infinite player, the system is also stable, like the Cold War, for example, because there cannot be a winner and a loser. There are no winners and losers in an infinite game, right? It doesn't exist. And because there are no winners or losers, what ends up happening in the infinite contest is players drop out when they run out of the will or the resources to play. But there's no winners or losers. Problems arise when you pit a finite player versus an infinite player. Because then a finite player is playing to win, and an infinite player is to playing to keep the game going. Right? This is what happened to us in Vietnam. We were playing to win, and the Vietnamese were fighting for their lives. We were the ones who got stuck in quagmire. This is the Soviet Union in Afghanistan. They were trying to beat the Mujahideen, and the Mujahideen would fight for as long as is necessary. Quagmire. Now let's look at business. The game of business has pre-existed or has existed long before every single company that exists on this planet today. And it will outlast every single company that, it lives, that exists on this planet today. There's no winning the game of business. And the reason is, is because we haven't agreed to the rules. I get such a kick out of this. You realize how many companies actually don't know the game they're in, right? Listen to the language that the companies use. We're trying to beat our competition. We're trying to be number one. Did you know that we were ranked number one? Look at the listing. Based on what criteria? Revenues, profits, market share, square footage, number of employees? Based on what time frame? A quarter, a year, five years, 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, 100 years? I haven't agreed to those standards. How can you declare yourself the winner? How can you declare yourself number one where no one else in the game has agreed to the rules? It's arbitrary. There is no winning because there's no end. In other words, Companies are playing finite games. Listen to their language. They're trying to beat their competition. What does that even mean? It's the leaders and the companies that understand the game that they're in and organize their resources and their decision-making around the infinite contest that outlast and frustrate their competition. All the companies that we refer to as the exceptions, Southwest Airlines, Apple Computers, Harley-Davidson, they're the exception. No. They're playing the infinite contest. They frustrate their competition, is what happens.